here with, oh wait a minute, your name is Grady, but they call you what? They call me Shady Grady. Right, well, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about that. How'd you get that nickname? I got that nickname years ago, uh, we was out coon hunting with some buddies. I mean, I wasn't probably seven, eight years old and I kept tripping over them little scrub oaks. Uh -huh. And every time they'd turn around, they'd be waiting on me. I'd be up underneath one of them. They'd, one guy finally said, come on, Shady Grady, get out that tree, let's go. And that's <laughs> been with me ever since. It's carried on ever it's since. carried on ever since. Uh, you, you've been doing this for quite a few years, haven't you? Yes, sir. How long have you been doing it? Oh, we started in 2003, so 10 years. Okay. We've been at it full time. We've messed around with some asphalt racing years ago. Never was, never done much, but uh, started full time dirt racing in 2003. Now I understand you've won a few races here recently. Yeah, well, we won uh, counting last night here. Uh, we won uh, the last two races here, and then, uh, but yeah, over in the past, I've won. We've won. We've won a bunch of races. Now, what classes have you run? And only classes I've ever run was um, hobby stock, which is now street stocks, and I've run the uh, pure stock car just a couple times, but uh, mainly hobby stocks. How many people you got coming here that follow you and is part of your, your, your team or family or whatever? Well, our family is probably, usually there's probably eight or ten of us that's just family, and then other than that, we'll normally, I don't know, some nights it seems like there's 15 or 20 with us, and then, you know, and then now we, like this week here, we brought four cars, only, you know, only two of them's mine and my brothers other than that you know the other two is just friends of ours okay how are they doing in their racing uh well the uh mike tobit won the uh pure stock race here last night and then my nephew drove our car he runs second place uh, where are y'all from altoona florida how far is that from here uh from here is about uh, about 116 miles uh do y'all race anywhere else other than here oh yeah we run all over the state we run uh bubba raceway park in ocala um, we went to Hendry County in December, and we go to Alabama, Georgia. We run all over the place. You were talking a while ago about people getting into it, and uh, it can get rather expensive, I know. But yeah. uh, how, how do you keep things uh, within reason? We just, you know, that's we, that's reason we stick with the stock chassis. You know, you can you can only do so much to them, and uh, most all the parts you buy, you can go down to auto parts stores as far as chassis parts brake pads and stuff like that and you know just it's, it's a lot less expensive than say the modified class and the late models and stuff like that what, what would you say is the funnest thing about dirt track racing oh the funnest thing about it is uh, as far as driving's a blast you know I mean you get you know you're, you're sometimes you're sideways sometimes you're straight I mean you can take a not so perfect car and you know run a top five with it where on asphalt if you if your car is not perfect you're going to the back, you know. The weirdest thing I've ever had happen to me was knocked out of a $2,500 race on the last lap on purpose. <laughs> that was the most hurtful thing, I think. Did, did you do anything to precipitate that? Or? No, we didn't do nothing to uh, precipitate that, but uh, it didn't get, it got ugly afterwards. <laughs> did somebody get body slammed? <laughs> well, we'll just, uh, we'll just say it got ugly. You know, that, to be honest with you, that's one of the things I've always enjoyed about racing, the, the extracurricular activities that take place oh, yeah. during and after the race. Yeah. yeah, that's what we was talking about a while ago here. Uh, in, in racing, you're going to see some uh, arguing and cussing and some fist fights. So if you're a fan, you can almost guarantee you go enough, you're going to see that. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today, and uh, good luck out there tonight. No problem. Appreciate what y'all do. Mm -hmm.